In today's extended edition of the Business Report, host Gabriel Thompson explores the issue of insolvency. The coronavirus pandemic hit Jamaican shores in March. Since then, some businesses have laid off workers, some have even closed permanently, and some Jamaicans found themselves unable to pay loans. Despite cash grants from the government, businesses and individuals may become insolvent, meaning being unable to repay debts owed to creditors. This is where the Office of the Supervisor of Insolvency comes in. Let's find out how they can assist. The Office of the Supervisor of Insolvency, OSI, is responsible for two things, regulating the licensing of trustees and supervising all estates under the Insolvency Act. The OSI has been in operation since 2015 as a result of the Insolvency Act of 2014. It is a division of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries. Fayola Evans Roberts is the Deputy Supervisor of Insolvency. She says the office is focused on helping Jamaicans avoid being declared insolvent or bankrupt. The insolvency regime for the first time, we're focusing on rehabilitation. That is certainly the avoidance of bankruptcy. So what we want are persons to initiate the process before they go into bankruptcy. Um, it has been a, a, probably a Jamaican thing where you know they take long to initiate. Persons wait until the last minute to act, but if they, if they come in time, then they're able to avoid bankruptcy. A person under the Insolvency Act refers to both individuals and corporate institutions. Here's how it works. An insolvent under the Act means you, you either reside, reside in Jamaica, or you own business in Jamaica, or you have property in Jamaica, but, and you, are, you owe a minimum of $300,000, and you're unable to pay your obligations as they become due. In order to access the insolvency regime, you'll have to do so through a trustee. What the trustee will do is administer your estate to make sure that you either make a proposal to your creditors or if you're unable to make a proposal, to put you in bankruptcy because that's the, that's the final analysis of it. If you are unable to pay your, your, um, your creditors, then you'll have to go into bankruptcy. So insolvency is different, it's separate from being a bankrupt. The OSI, however, is not limited to assisting large corporate bodies. Mrs. Evans Roberts says help is offered to everyone. Anybody, yes, you can come, yes. Small business, business name, you can, as long as you are, you are, you owe a minimum of 300,000 and you're unable to pay your obligations as they become due or you have stopped paying those obligations, the OSI can assist you. The economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic has impacted Jamaican businesses. The Planning Institute of Jamaica projected economic contraction between 4 and 6 percent for 2020-2021. There are provisions under the insolvency regime to help businesses. Especially because of the expected fallout that is ex that from COVID that is certainly going to be coming. If it's not, if it hasn't hit them yet, we're sure it's going to. We are aware of the many things that has happened. One of the things that persons can do is to make a proposal to avoid bankruptcy. Um, a proposal can be commenced by a notice of intention to, to, um, to make a proposal to your creditors. And one of the benefits of that is as soon as you file a, a notice of intention, all court proceedings are stayed. That gives you time. That gives you time. That's one of the things that companies would want at, at this time in order to be given some time so that you don't have to file for bankruptcy now. The OSI has also been making moves on behalf of individuals, creating special proposals for those with student loans. We would approach your creditor on your behalf and come to an agreement for whatever settlement that would be. Um, the majority of, of things that we saw during that time was that the creditors agreed to accept a reduction in the amount that they paid monthly. So persons were really benefited and the creditors were really open to assisting individuals during that time. 
What if you have met your recent financial obligations but are worried about the future? Under the Insolvency Act, there is what is considered the person who is imminently insolvent. It's the same persons who you reside in, you have business in, in Jamaica, you owe the minimum of 300000 But importantly, you reasonably anticipate that within 12 months, something is going to happen and you will be unable to pay your obligations, to meet your obligation. It hasn't happened yet, but within 12 months it may happen. You can still access the proposal regime under the Insolvency Act. You can contact the OSI by calling these numbers 876 929 8332, 876 619 1475 to 6, or by emailing info.osi at mycaf.gov.jm. For the business report on PBCJ, I'm Gabrielle Thompson.